part three of our Australia vlog, Melbourne. We arrived in Melbourne and the first interesting thing we found was that this is the nicest Uber pickup site I have ever seen anywhere in the world. There's an entire area plus a dedicated Uber guy waiting to help you get you into your car and these Uber spots, very, very different from Uber pickup in the US. We hopped into our Uber and then it was about a 25, 30 minute ride from the airport, which is just outside the city into the downtown area where our hotel is located. As a family of four, we sometimes find it easier to rent apartment hotels rather than straight hotel rooms. First of all, because we need two hotel rooms since there are four of us if we just do that. Um, and also, because this was a two week trip, we wanted to have a couple of laundry options while we were traveling. We like to only check carry on luggage and not um, do any full size suitcases. So being able to do laundry a time or two really helps us with that. Off to the grocery for a few staples. I mean, when in Australia. There's also one with cheese. <laughs> we'll report back. For dinner, we decided to check out one of the Greek restaurants in our neighborhood. Melbourne actually has the largest Greek population outside of Athens, and the Greek restaurants certainly reflect that. The food here, the Greek food, is unbelievably good. So today is a walk around day for us. We are walking around Melbourne, headed down to the Queen Victoria Market where there are a bunch of food stalls and outdoor markets, and we will bring you guys along. So here we are at Queen Victoria Market. Queen Victoria Market is Melbourne's largest food hub. It's been in operation since 1878, and there are over 600 food stalls here, including meats, fishes, delicatessens, fruits, vegetables, uh, and of course, some kangaroo meat, if that's what suits you. I didn't know that Australia is actually famous for its honey. There are hundreds of different types of honey that are produced in Australia and they all taste completely different from each other. The difference in taste is based on the type of flower that the bee pollinates, not based on anything that's added to the honey. So this is a little sampler pack that we picked up. And then a little stop for lunch. This is a cute little market cafe right outside of the markets. Um, these types of market cafes are all over this area, serving really fresh food uh, in a fun outdoor environment. We are making our way over to the Queen Victoria Gardens in the Royal Botanical Gardens today. Uh, it is like 90 degrees outside, so it is a lovely day to be outside, but also blazing hot. We've got our hats on and our sunscreen, and the gardens are supposed to be really beautiful in there, so here we go. The Royal Botanic Gardens in Melbourne have been around since the 1800s. 
the gardens contain over 8,500 different species of plants and flowers. But even if you don't know anything about plants, it's still a really beautiful place to visit and spend an afternoon. There are lots of walking trails, uh, areas where you can set up a picnic, or just find a shady tree under which to read a book. The gardens are enormous, and we only really walked a very small portion of them. Included in other parts of the gardens are a children's garden, a cactus garden, and even a lake where in the summer months you can ride on an old English-style punt boat. The gardens are free to visit, and overall, a really lovely way to spend an afternoon. It feels like we've been doing stuff non-stop since we've been here in Melbourne, so we decided to take this afternoon and just chill by the rooftop pool. And the um, rooftop in a city like this is really an awesome place to hang out. Okay, as promised, we are gonna try Vegemite, us and the kids. <laughs> It's like black. Yeah. And great. in case anyone was wondering what's in Vegemite, let's see here, where's the ingredient list? Here we go. Yeast extract, wheat, barley, salt, malt extract, flavors, niacin, thiamine, riboflavin, and folate. Mmm. Yes. Are you excited? Are you excited about trying Vegemite, friends? No. <laughs> What's it taste like? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Thumbs up! Oh! It's not good. It's like you know what it is. It's like eating. Solid soy sauce. Like soy sauce if soy sauce was solid. On to a better meal. Spice World is an authentic Chinese hot pot. We needed some instructions because we hadn't had authentic hot pot before, but basically you make your own sauce by using these ingredients. Uh, that's kind of a fun thing to do. There are recipes on the wall and even the kids were able to do this part themselves, which they did enjoy. So you put your ingredients into your little sauce cup and you bring it back over to your table in preparation for the cooking of the meats and vegetables in the hot pot. The kids really enjoyed this because it's pretty interactive. You know, they can put their own little um, slices of meat and fish and vegetables into the hot pot, let it cook, and then pull it out and dip it in the sauce they made. So definitely a fun experience for the whole family. One of the main reasons we came to Australia is to meet up with some old friends of ours who used to live in Washington, D.C. So we headed just outside the city to St. Kilda to meet up with them. We walked along the beach, really quite a lovely walk. Uh, if you have the opportunity to get out of the downtown area of Melbourne and over to St. Kilda, beautiful little beach out there, uh, lots of restaurants right along the beachfront, and we had lunch at one of these places. Good food with a great view. After, after lunch, our friends suggested that we head over to the Melbourne Museum to check out the Tayama exhibit, which is described as a multi-sensory experience of nature. The Tayama exhibit was very cool and definitely delivered on its promise. But the other parts of the Melbourne Museum are pretty interesting as well. If you've got a kid who likes dinosaurs, this is a do not miss. They've got these um, prehistoric uh, lands that you can walk through and scale models of the skeletons of dinosaurs, which are pretty cool to see in person. <laughs> 